This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so I uh, will be starting our next topic that is catalogs. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover in the catalogs, we will see what is the use of catalogs, what are the different types of catalogs are there, hierarchy of catalogs, then we will understand what is what are code groups and codes, then we will create selected sets in the system. What is selected sets, why it is used, then we will create selected sets in the system. Okay. And then we will assign the catalogs to the MICs. We will see that and we'll just discuss about catalog profile. Okay, we will not be creating catalog profile today, but just we'll discuss catalog profile. And then we will see the configuration related to catalogs. Okay. So you use you use catalogs to define, manage, and standardize information consistently for all clients or plans. So basically, these catalogs are used to uh, enter some information. Okay, in case of results recording or usage decision. Okay, so you you provide some information, standardized information, in the system to the users. Okay, if you use catalogs. It is easier to record and evaluate qualitative data and describe the objects. Okay, so once you use these catalogs, it will become very easy. Okay. It will become very easy to uh, use the uh, uh, enter the data in the system. So normally these catalogs are used to uh, use for used for the uh, uh, qualitative characteristics. So in a catalog, information is assigned a unique alphanumeric code and an explanatory text. Okay, this I will show it in the system. So basically this code, code is a description of a characteristic defect, cause or etc. Okay, I'll tell you the scenario. See, basically if you recollect our previous classes, if you recollect our previous classes, what we discussed two types of MICs. One is quantitative, quantitative. Okay. Next one is qualitative. Okay. Qualitative. Okay. We discussed these two. So quantitative, as we discussed previously, they will be normally having the limits. Let's say you are checking the pH value of a solution. Okay. So normally pH will have limits. Lower limit is zero to upper limit forty. Let's say this is an upper limit. Okay. So now let's say if the user enters a value result. If user enters a result as eight, okay, then what system does? System says it is accept. Why? Because this result within these limits, within these limits. So system will say accept. Now suppose let's say if the result is, if the result is let's say, let's say sixty, then what system will say? It will say it is reject. Why? This value is outside the limits. So it will say reject. It will say reject. Okay, this is in case of quantitative. So quantitative, we don't have any issue. But when it comes to qualitative, when it comes to qualitative, the problem is here you don't have here you don't have limits. Here you do not have limits. Okay, then Suppose let's say you are inspecting color. You are checking the color of a solution. Okay. So now, if if you are checking color of a solution, okay. So now the problem here is, suppose let's say instead of user entering the red, white, instead of entering this, if user enters some other information, let's say he enter apple, apple. Okay, then you, the system will be in confusion whether it is a color or what it is exactly. Okay, and also the system will be in confusion whether to accept it or reject it. What what needs to be done, whether to accept or reject. Okay, or reject. What system has to go? System will be in that confusion. So for this one, what you do is, we, you will be giving a predefined list to the users. In case of qualitative MICs, you give a predefined information to the users. So like this, you give red, white, yellow, okay, green. You give this predefined information. So like this, you will give. 
zero one red zero two zero two white okay zero three yellow okay yellow then zero four green okay and then zero five i just i mean just enter five colors zero five okay enter as white white so you give these predefined values to the users from from which he will select so red and also you will give when it is red accept or reject when it is white accept or reject you will give like this also yellow okay accept or reject let's say green let's say it is reject i'm just giving an example white reject so you will give this also so this so now this red this white this yellow this green this white all these are called codes these are these are called codes okay and these codes are clubbed into a code group example like let's say example code group code group let's say i'll put it as a color okay and this all these individual codes are clubbed into this code group. code group is nothing but combination of codes that's right okay here code is the description of a characteristic or even it can be a description of a defect cause etc okay so in a catalog information is assigned a unique alphanumeric code and an explanatory text this is the one unique alphanumeric code is this one this one and this is the explanatory text this is explanatory text okay now as as we just discussed code groups is the summary of codes according to contents so code group will contain codes individual codes okay so basically catalog is the summary of code groups according to contents we will see that suppose if you see if you see this example you will understand suppose let's say you you are receiving a box from a supplier you want to describe the condition of the box okay whether it is cracked whether it is damaged scratched or warped so you want to describe the condition of this box so for that you give this predefined information to the user like this this is alphanumeric code and this is the text so you give this list to the user from this he will select and these are called codes this is a code this is a code this is a code this is a code and these are clubbed into a code group you can call it as a coding or condition okay so now catalog types so catalog type will tell you what type of code group it is okay whether it is a characteristic attribute what type of code group it is whether it is a task okay whether it is a usage decision okay what type of code group you will define it in the catalog type okay but today as of now today or today we will be discussing this one characteristic attribute we will create only this one this tasks usage decisions causes all these things we will discuss when we go to the uh, results regarding usage decision and quality notifications that time we will discuss today we will create code groups belonging to the catalog type characteristic attribute okay if you see the next screen you will understand this is the one you see here color color white red red is a code color white is a code all these are clubbed into a code group called color and these code groups belongs to the catalog type characteristic attribute okay so this is how it's it's built up the structure okay so now let's create the codes and code groups in the system so we are today we are creating the code groups with catalog type one characteristic attribute Okay, this is the one we are here we are we are creating the code groups with catalog type one characteristic attribute so now let's create okay so this is the one this is the one we are going to create okay so here what you need to do is here first you have to give the code group name okay and in the code group after select the you have to select the code group left side there will be a folder called codes in that codes you have to enter all the codes this is a code alphanumeric code and it's short text it's short text all these codes are clubbed into this code group and this code group belongs to a catalog type called one okay 
So now let's create this. Let's go to the system. I logged into the system. Okay, so now decode to create a code group is QS41. QS41. This is the decode. Enter. Just give me one minute. Okay, so now we'll select the catalog type one characteristic attribute. Today we will be using, we'll be creating code groups belonging to catalog type. Select it, give the code group. I'll put it as color. Color. Okay. Color. Color. Okay. Enter the code group, just click on the button, continue. You will be getting this screen. Give the description. This is a code group, give it short text. C O L O U R. Give the short text. Status, put it in release mode. That means we are releasing it so that it can be used. Enter. Okay. Now select the code group, and on the left side, you see there is a folder, codes. Click on that. Again, click on new entries. You will be getting this screen. Here you have to enter the alphanumeric code and it's short text so i'll put like this 0 1 0 1 red okay 0 2 yellow 